Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another home video tour. Today we are at Citrine, which is the newest community by TriPoint Homes. This is going to be the plan two that we're going to tour 2577 square feet so 2577 square feet we have a starting price of five hundred and sixty five thousand dollars with three bedrooms optional we have a fourth bedroom as well in lieu of the flex space so we'll, we'll go over that when we get in two and a half bathrooms up to three bathrooms and then you have also the three uh sorry the two bay garage so this is going to have a two-car garage right here nice modern elevation this is the c elevation which is the most expensive one we had 2,500 square feet, uh, beautiful, stunning home. Now this house uh, comes uh, does not come with the front courtyard, so keep that in consideration. It comes with this covered porch, and then you'll have your entrance to the side of this home. Lots of windows because TriPoint is TriPoint, and they do their thing. One thing to know about TriPoint, their SEER rating, which is the uh, uh, energy efficiency rating, is, uh, is actually really good. Uh, we're looking, uh, I mean, for the amount of windows that they have. They have a SEER 14, but, you know, for the amount of windows that they have, look, every wall that you see, it's has a window. It's difficult with these kinds of windows to protect your house from the heat and the cold, right? Because it travels a little bit faster. So it's going to be a SEER 14. However, if you get a, let's say a Toll Brothers is going to be a SEER 15, uh, a KB or a Beezer is going to be a, a CR16 because those are the most energy efficiency efficient homes. But then you don't get what you see here, which is that nice modern look, beautiful tall ceilings here at the entrance, and uh, and yeah, beautiful open floor plan here, 2,500 square feet. It has up to four bedrooms, beautiful size uh, living room, and then this would be the cabinets option now. I know they have a quick move in right now that has this option selected and it was $3,800 for these cabinets. The included option is very similar as a matter of fact, it just doesn't have the shaker finish, which means this little trim around this cabinet is a little bit different. Other than that, it's a similar color, similar cabinet, including the base price. Also for the countertops, including the base price would be similar to this one, it'll look similar. Although the tone of this one is a little bit different and it has a little bit more of a uh, custom look on this one, but the other one is like a sparkling white. Uh, they call it snow white Now we do have uh, black uh, hardware here all upgraded. It comes included with an 18 by 18 tile here and then we have uh, nice uh, 42 inch cabinets included as far as the option included for your appliances You'll get a push-in stove similar to this one not with the double oven but push-in stove and then a microwave on top. You can change that out for a hood just like this one, a cooktop if you want. And then undermount sink. This is an upgrade definitely, but it comes with a regular undermount sink, stainless steel. And then your refrigerator is optional. Yeah, microwave on top right there. I love how it has this extra homework nook area with the pantry right here, which is a very good size. Now these shelves are upgraded. It comes with the regular wooden shelves. But then this, this layout right here is really cool how it has this dining room right across from the this huge island which fits four people, not even five. And then still open here to the living room. Really nice. And this is the included sliding door. It's an eight by eight. You can go outside and, uh, and you can uh, still enjoy a pretty good sized backyard in this model. Now, one thing to consider though, is uh depending on the lots these lots have an extra six foot six feet of uh, of length which means the regular lots are actually a little bit smaller than this one so 2500 square feet and this lot is great but some of the lots are smaller keep that in consideration and uh, as you can see here they did an extra fire pit outside this is optional you have right here your you definitely build build a pool in this lot because it's pretty wide it's about 50 feet wide which is great and then a nice covered patio it's going to come with the covered patio as well now the covered patio is not going to extend out to where this one is it will finish right there and it will it will be a little bit you know less uh, it's not as big it's not going to cover as much included uh, but these uh, lot premiums are going anywhere between five to ten grand 
uh, with six feet less than what you saw right now. We do have a bedroom downstairs and the powder room right next to the entrance. And uh, yeah, what else? Your entry to the garage is right here. I think we can go into the garage because it looks like there's a lock. So let's see if we can go there and see it. Two car garage. Now this one is uh, walled off. That's gonna be the garage door. It's a pretty deep garage as well. We have over 22 feet here. So this is awesome. And uh, you can see here your tankless water heater included. And then the water software is going to be optional at the design center. This one, it runs around 1600 to get it with them. This is going to be probably their um, showroom where they're going to show the energy efficiency and all that stuff. Okay. Now let's go out to see that bedroom downstairs. Now the starting price of 565, this one, you know, starts competing right there with all the Toll Brothers across the street. For sure, the Toll Brothers is going to have an even harder time selling their homes. Powder room right here, nice. Comes with a pedestal sink. You can add a cabinet if you want to, and even a window in the in the bathroom is huge. Now this would be the den downstairs. Now this one is made into a den, but optionally you can make this a full bedroom with the full bathroom, so that would be turned into a full bathroom. And uh, you know it's a really good sized bedroom. That's about. 14, 15 feet deep, I mean wide, by approximately 10, 11 feet right there. So that's awesome. And then all these uh, built-in cabinets is an option. <clears throat> Go up to the second floor now. This is a cool uh, feature, definitely like this, uh, with this floor plan. You see the nice tall ceilings at the entrance. When you go up, you'll find over here, nice open loft. And I like how they uh, they kind of laid this one out with the pony wall right here, because you're usually going to put in a nice couch. And putting it against the stairwell is fine, but some people are a little bit worried about their kids getting on there and climbing over. So having the pony wall, it's, it's a little bit higher, you know. Uh, plenty of windows right here, that huge window from the entrance, letting in plenty of light as well. They have, uh, in this community, they're building also some townhomes right there and that's going to be on that side of the community all the way down to where that land is being finished and then on the other side we have all single story homes sorry single family homes which is the homes that we're touring right now as we walk up here we have a nice finished wall with the wood two bedrooms over here and then the primary bedroom over there so we'll have three bedrooms here one optional downstairs and then this loft making it four bedrooms in the loft. And, sorry, bathroom right here is gonna separate these two bedrooms. First bedroom is gonna be a 11, 10 by 11, maybe more than that, 10 by 12. It's gonna have also a walk-in closet, which is great. We do have nine foot ceilings included on the second floor as well. And then nine foot ceilings on the first floor also included. That's a full-size bed. Where's that a queen? I think that's a queen. No, full-size bed. Uh, you could definitely fit a queen in here, though. Now, this one is going to have two undermount sinks uh, and, you know, the same cabinets as downstairs because they upgraded it. Love that it has this door here, uh, so it separates, you know, the, the toilet and the shower room. When you have kids, it's nice to have that separation so they can still use the sink. This one is way bigger, this bedroom. I mean, this is 11 by 13. It's a great size bedroom. And uh, yeah, I love how they, how they laid this out because you, know, you have the smaller bedroom up there, then this is the bigger one, then the primary bedroom. So four bedrooms and 2,500 square feet and a loft. Very well laid out. I think this one is my favorite so far. You have right here a washer and dryer again, the laundry room, and then optional sink behind you here, or you can just get a regular cabinet if you don't want the sink. Definitely recommend the sink. And then the primary bedroom out here, which is very good size too. Look at that. Uh, what is this? 14, 15, no, 15 on that wall by 16 on this one. So spacious. Look, you can even 
make a little retreat right here. Love how they laid it out. So you can look at the mirror, right? Okay, TV. And then big windows as usual. One, two, three windows. This one will oversee your backyard or at least your covered patio. As far as which homes you can get to get some nice views, you probably have to be at the end of the community right there. And they do have some oversized lots at the end of the community with some beautiful mountain views and also city views. And I'm not sure you're gonna get uh, strip views because we have some big two stories right there, my tow brother, so but that's just an option. The bathroom over here, linen closet, two sinks with plenty of counter space in between. And then over here we have the included shower size. That's about the size of the included shower, but then you can upgrade to the tile, you can do the rainfall finish, uh, rainfall uh, shower head and uh, everything you want you know with the bench and all that stuff your water closet is right here and then the walk-in closet decent size yeah can't complain and this one you know it's really nice when you don't have as big of a closet it's nice to have the double stacked or maybe do some kind of custom closet because it allows you really uh, use this square foot or square footage of wall and it's the best of its ability you know so yeah so let's talk about numbers now five hundred sixty five thousand dollars that's the base price you look at the lot premiums going anywhere between five to ten right now of the lots that they have available i've seen this home i would say this is probably going to be somewhere around in the low 600 so 630 to 640 is where the average person is going to spend to get a really nice house upgraded as far as countertops cabinets and all that stuff but without doing the flooring with them because their flooring is really expensive. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter of fact, you go to the design center to do just the downstairs uh, flooring, you're probably looking at around $25,000 just for a luxury vinyl plank. So that's just from my experience, um, having been to the design center several times. Now, uh, if you'd wanna do also an upgraded carpet, add an extra three to five grand on top of that and the padding also, that's another couple grand so you can get easily to that 30 grand just for upgrades in flooring if you want to do let's say a luxury vinyl plank downstairs and also uh the carpet upstairs so 30 grand plus the 640 we were around 670 out the door price with the flooring or 640 without it and then you can do your own flooring for maybe 10 grand if even that and you can do luxury vinyl plank throughout the whole house for 10 grand um but the, yeah you gotta have the you know the connection to do it and all that stuff so that would be the option on this one. I would say that's what the average person is going to say. Now, can you spend less than that? Yeah, you can definitely spend less than that. You can be around 600,000 for this house, and then you can do your own upgrades later in the future. New, you know, a lot of things like uh, flooring, baseboards, paint, stuff like that. But for the average person, they're probably going to be somewhere around 620. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this house and this uh, this community. They're doing 3% towards closing costs, no uh, rate incentives or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys need some help purchasing a home, guiding you throughout the, this whole process to try to compare all these new construction homes in the whole valley, whether it's here in the Northwest, Southwest, Summerlin, Cadence, Inspirata, Henderson in general, hire a realtor someone that can uh, specialize uh, into helping you out with these new construction homes because there's a lot to choose that we have so much new construction home here in las vegas you're going to be lost and then try to figure out the right uh, place for you that has um you know the amenities the infrastructure that you need in uh, in your life then that's when you need a realtor that can help you out with that and uh if you if you want to um you know reach out to me Love to represent you, and uh, my commission is paid by the builder. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Appreciate you watching until the end. Uh, also, if you're not quite ready yet, but you want to start looking around on the internet, uh, you can uh, sign up onto my two links down there. One is for resale homes, one is for new construction homes. Uh, and uh, you can start your search there to see a little bit of the price ranges and all of that stuff, and then and see what's available. And then if you want to go into more detail because you're ready to purchase and you want to go in and, and see all these homes, obviously, if you're going in without me, tell them at least you're with me if you don't have a realtor. That way I can represent you. But then also, 
don't reach out to me so we can get you started with the whole process that I have for my clients. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.